video number six. Um, well, all my talk about no rain uh, hasn't held true the last two days. There's a storm in the Pacific and uh, quite a bit of yesterday, Monday, we lost time and we lost some time here this morning, but we're back at work. It's the middle of the day now. Nothing's changed here. There's a cement mixer still running. The Panamanian cement mixer. We're pouring some more on top of the walls, but the reason for today's video is the uh, beams. I think you can see we've started to put the steel beams up. And as I said, I was anxious to find out how they were going to get these heavy beams up with no power equipment. And I want to get us involved in that today. If you remember, they put the, the, those steel plates on top of the columns, and that's what this beam is already sitting on. It's welded in place already. Uh, down here is one that they're putting up now. That's the one I want to show you. These beams are about 42 feet in length. They weigh 22 pounds per foot, so you do the math. It's somewhere upwards, somewhere around 900 pounds per beam. And they're putting one into place here. Um, they're swinging it. This guy's got a hook up on this beam right now. Um, here's the mechanism. There's just a 4x4 four four piece of steel that's sitting on some wooden blocks on the ground here. See that? And there's the 4x4 four four piece of steel that goes up and then there's a little arm on top that's welded with a gusset. So it's pretty strong. And it's just fastened to this piece of scaffolding with some nylon webbing. I'll back away here a little bit. There's just a standard scaffold, like you see everywhere, and it's tied onto that with some, that 4x4 that four four piece of steel is tied to the scaffold with some nylon webbing. I'll zoom in on that. I think you can see it. Nothing fancy. Up at the top, this guy has a chain fall. We call him Catalina's here, but it's a chain fall. And um, he just winches it up there inch by inch and then uh, when it gets close to in place this fellow over here is pushing and pulling with a piece of steel and there's you can't see it but on the other end of this beam is another guy I'll get around here where he is there's another fellow back here he's doing some measuring making sure it's in the right place that's the boss He's got a piece of wire they're now holding it so the back end can't go up. And they're going to drop the front end on the other column. So that's on the back column. He's got it where he wants it. And over here they're lining it up now on the front column. Over here. I think you can see that. And he'll just drop it down into place, which I guess he's already done it. He's already dropped it into place. And they'll just weld it there. That's as hard as it gets. It's impressive. So they're putting about two of these up per day. This afternoon they'll move the scaffold and drop another one in. So true to form, the, these guys uh, get a lot done with little equipment. Without much ado, just two or three guys putting up these beams. No crane, no nothing. When they need to move the beams, where they get the whole crew over here to help move them into place. Uh, there's, uh, well, it's a thousand pounds, so it takes a bunch of guys to move them around the, the, the job site, but uh, not much to it otherwise. These guys are charging me uh, four thousand dollars. They're going to put up all the beams. They're going to put up all the cross members for the roof. There's 160 cross members. It'll be almost one kilometer of cross beams have to go into place. And then they put up the steel roofing after that. And uh, that's about it for video five. We've got the walls almost done. There's going to be one more pour for the top of the walls. You can see there's some more forms over here right now. Just to remain, just a few remaining walls, and and we're done. So I would think uh, this is Tuesday. By this day next week, we'll have all the beams up and. Um, and we'll have all the walls completed. The electrician starts tomorrow. 
so we'll have some something on the electrical work soon. And uh, next week, when we're finishing the beams, I'll get a get, a, get an image of that also.